Miwa on today's episode of The, the Hunt, Hunt is on. on. We got the most amazing icon ever, Dana, Dana Hart, a local legend from Calgary, Alberta, baby. Uh, we talked to Dana about cool shit coming up in the future, Alberta's next drag superstar. The Vogue scene here in Calgary. Yeah, and lots of other fun little tidbits that you can catch in our chit chat with her. And then Andrew and I talk reality TV, baby. Yeah, hot house. Hot house, big brother. Drag Race Season 14. Drag Race UK vs. The World. Our opinions on all of those things and more. Yeah. T- on today's episode. Yeah. So make sure that you stay tuned for and The Hunt is on. <laughs> Hi there, we at The Hunt is On would like to acknowledge that we are currently living, working, playing, and recording this podcast on traditional territories of the Blackfoot Confederacy homeland, which consists of the Tsiksika, Gnai, Pekani, Tsitsina, and Stony Nations. We recognize the many nations who call Monkinsis their home, which include the Métis Nation of Alberta Region 3 within the historical Northwest Métis homeland. Okay, well, welcome, everybody. Welcome back. My name is Valerie Hunt. My name is Andrew Childs. And I'm Dana Hart. And this is... The, the Hunt, Hunt is on. on. And we all did that together. Yay! <laughs> we are. We tried. We and clearly, we have a guest uh, on this week's episode, because we got Dana in the house, baby. Hi. Local legend, icon, and star of the Calgary scene. I mean, same old legend. Oh, <laughs> you're a legend. Speak into the microphone, Dana. Oh, yeah, you can come. We can share. Me and Dana, we can get close. <laughs> I'm not a legend. I'm a superstar. Okay, we're <laughs> queen. We're ASMR moment. Well, it's so nice to have you. We, I mean, like, you've done, we've all done YouTube videos together. We've yeah. really performed together yeah. for years. Mm-hmm. So it feels nice to just have, like, a little, a little chit-chat, a little catch-up with the divas, yes. the divas of the well, girlies. I was also uh, reminiscing two years ago, almost today, we started doing Jupiter Queens. So yes. literally like the three of us, plus two others, uh, we're doing a bunch. Oh, plus three others. Three others. Boy Jesus butter. <laughs> Can- cancel, Boy butter. Cancel Boy Andrew. Butter. <laughs> um, but yeah, for those of you who don't know, if you know, you know, Dana, myself, Europa, uh, Anxiety, and Beverly, now... Formerly known as Anita, Anita D, D, Beverly Freebush, were in a, a girl group together. I didn't, did you say anxiety? Right? Yeah, I, I did say anxiety. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and we were the Sailor Scouts, and it was a good time. And now look how far we've come. Um, we're both Scream Queen winners. Yes, yes. yes. icons. Yes. Dana and I are both the reigning Scream Alberta divas. Right. I'm not gonna lie. I did not think I was going to win. It was a it was a tough match. The scoring. The Let's sc- get into it because I wasn't there. <laughs> So, um, I did Michael Jackson for the, for the finale. I did filler, obviously. I was yep. like, fuck it. You guys did it last year. I'm going to do it this year. Um, and then I did so good. And then I ate, like, a whole... She ate. I ate a whole raw <laughs> cow's heart. I can't believe I ate the whole thing. Yeah. No, wait, yeah. what? I, yeah, I ate a whole raw, like, cow's heart. On stage? On stage. No one told me that. <laughs> yeah, I had no idea that this, this videos, happened. There's videos of it. And I was like, cool. And then Terry, Terry was one of the judges, and Terry's just like over here just judging me like... Did you at least put salt and pepper on it? <laughs> I put paprika on it. Did you actually? I did. <laughs> <laughs> that is That's, so this fierce. is some insider. I had no idea. Because in, in my head, in my head, I knew that you did thriller mm-hmm. and yeah. then i was like there was i just saw a gaggy moment but i didn't know that was the gaggy moment yeah so that's really yeah. interesting to i know. just thought the the gaggy moment was that you were just doing like michael jackson drag and that was like well, the like, whole like no one no one like thought that was you made michael jackson i didn't even tell anyone until like we made the group chat when Melo made the group chat being like okay putting your songs out the first i was the first one just being like feel michael jackson the thriller and then the someone's like someone's like Fuck, I was gonna do that. I was like, well, too fucking bad. <laughs> <laughs> when you heard it here, folks, Dana Hart bullied the competition into the win. Really did. Yeah. And like, Same. And like, it took a lot of time too, because like, I was already making like this thriller jacket, and I made the thriller jacket by hand. Yeah. And then the, also one gaggy moment, I stitched my own pants too, to fit like the whole, the whole like video. And, I did the splits and my pantyhose was showing. <laughs> Diva, I won. I won that competition in a torn pair of Anxiety's yeah. jeans yeah, that she lost the competition yeah. in, and that they were like they got mad at her for. I'm pretty sure. 
Yeah. yeah. They were, were you, like, don't wear the jeans. And then I was like, we're winning jeans. the jeans. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, you're like, the jeans. I'm doing mom drag. So yeah. jeans are on. Je- jeans are on. <laughs> yeah. And I didn't look anything like my character. So you know what? Here's to being winners who just did whatever. Yeah. Did whatever we wanted. And it was supposed to be, apparently, supposed to be doing like a step down show. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that, that's that's not happening. <laughs> we'll see what we'll see we'll, we'll see, see we'll see. We should do a photo shoot together though. Yeah, because we both have the crowns. crowns. We both have the OG crowns. Well, you have the queen crown. I have the king crown. Yeah, I'm the villain of the season. I wouldn't give up the crown. No, <laughs> no. literally. No. The actual no. tea is for those listening. <laughs> if you're listening uh, right now, is that I. And I feel like it's not bad. There's no, no not, malice no in this. Mouse, yeah. I just didn't want to give up. I didn't want to give up the crown that I won last year. And I didn't know that I was supposed to until... Until, the, like... The week of. Until, the like, week. until like soon. And then until soon of the competition. And we figured it out. It was uh, a, good, a good compromise. <laughs> well, also... Child, don't you fucking lie right now. This bitch was like, I'm keeping the fucking crown. What do you mean fucking have to give up the fucking crown? I, I used won it in, this. I literally use it. In, it's in my Call Me Mother audition it video. It literally and I like, is. I can't, I can't give this up. It means, like, lots to me. So I'm very happy I got to keep it. And I'm very happy that you got it. Like, they're both really beautiful both crowns. Really beautiful if you ever want to trade or just, like, wear another one for a sec, I'm happy to do a little swift flop. Oh, that'd be cute. Oh, that'd be cute. We could do a photo shoot. I think it'd be cute. We should do it's that. Like my second crown. Even though the other one's plastic. We were winner, baby. <laughs> Me and Dana Hart love to crush the dreams of near enough. We, we, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> True. Near enough is literally the raven of oh, Alberta. Okay, like, but like, not to be like that kind of bitch, but like, it, I, I kind of found it surprising being like, oh, when she was in your, your round, yeah. she made it to second place. When she made it to my round, she went to third. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what they say next year? Two steps back. Wait. Two steps back was my Three step forward. forward. Three step forward. She's going to win next year, I believe, next in, year. I believe in you near enough. And if or beyond Drag do Race. It, I don't know. It's either, it's either that or I mean, Addy. Okay, but are either of you going to be judging for uh, Scream Alberta next That'd year? That'd be hot. We, be could be hot. we could just check out there. That'd I'll be fun. Say. And then you could just like <laughs> say, hot. no, Nira. The cast is so problematic today already. <laughs> like 10 minutes in y'all gotta get out of here um so yeah that happened and then this year you're competing in alberta's next drag superstar yes we are and we haven't done this since 2019 was the last time they crowned a winner i know and i was in that fuck <laughs> i was in that one I yeah you were in it. the final i was so it was like my first year of doing drag and i was like fuck it i'm going to do it yeah and how i got my ticket Doing that is doing a fucking death drop off the fucking Dickens stage. If those for those who don't know, Dickens stage like the Dickens stage, like the height of oh, it yeah. is literally like five, five feet tall. Yeah, four if and I'm a half. Six, if, I'm, if I'm six feet, I, I read both over reach. It's like four and a half feet. Yeah, it's like it's like four feet. Probably, yeah, four and a bit. And I literally did a dip off that stage, and forgetting that there were stairs underneath me, and I was. Like this close from hitting like the edge of the stairs, <laughs> and my Afro and wig saved me that day. <laughs> oh my god! Wow. You know what? I was there. I think I was there. You were there. I because I competed. You were in the finals too. Yeah, you were in the semifinals. Yeah, yeah semifinals. Yeah. yeah, I was bugger boots. Bitch, you you did let's ride by try X Wets and brought a fucking scooter on. The yeah, it, it was it was kind of iconic. We both had really iconic moments yeah. tonight, and you were like. I was newer than you, mm-hmm. but we were both still very new. Mm-hmm. And yeah, you did the, probably the most iconic dip that Calgary had ever seen up to that point. Uh, and I brought a full scooter to the bar and rode it on stage. And I didn't do anything with it. I just rode it around in a circle. But it would have been funny, if gaggy you, nonetheless. It would have been funny if you got like one of those like tiny like on like like movable cars. I was like the I, tiny ones. You just like here. I'm gonna be real. I'll, I'll be. I'll be real. I'll pull back the curtain for a second. I'll be candid. <laughs> Me and my ankle socks. Um, <laughs> uh, almost full drag ankle sock. Um, I stole that number from Denim Pussy. <laughs> well, because they came to Calgary to do the OG Booster Cruise with Molly Poppins from Toronto, Toronto. Yeah. and or now Molly Amaris from Toronto. Mm-hmm. And uh, Denim came into the club at the back lot in Calgary and did uh, Vroom Vroom with like a miniature, like a thing, like a mm. tricycle or something. And I was like, I have to, I have, have to do to this. Work. And I mean, like, it's like, it's a, a number about something going fast in a car and someone riding a, like a vehicle. It's like, hand to hand. 
That's drag. That's drag. That's drag. That, that is top drag. That's Marie Antoinette level drag. The, oh. <laughs> <laughs> like it's like it's been done. So you know, let's but. eat cake. <laughs> we really, we really killed it. And I think this year you have a chance to win. I, I think know. you could really win. Like I've, I feel like I've gotten so much better in like the fucking hobby. Like, oh, holy shit, I'll be my Dana will be Dana will be four years old next Monday on Valentine's yeah, Day. Like this, this this week. This week. I was just thinking that. This is kind of fierce. Oh my god, happy four year. This I is know. your four year little anniversary podcast. Yay. I'm getting old. <laughs> Dana. <laughs> Dana. <laughs> Nor. Old. Nor. No, no, no. I'm and almost me old. and Abia. Yeah. Abia, me and Abia still have to start the same day. That's hot. Mm-hmm. Oh my god, get on Happy drag. Valentine's Day. Right. <laughs> Love us. Love it. Love oh, it. But speaking of, would you be uh, auditioning for uh, some specific reality TV shows in the near future? The Great Canadian Bake Off. Exactly. <laughs> I mean, I can't bake, so. Yeah, actually, you know what? I don't even. That's that wasn't a lie. <laughs> um, but no, I think I could see you doing. I think you would do great on like reality competition I, TV. So, I was going to audition for season three, but then. But you know, then you I, ate the pig heart, and now you're going for Dragula. <laughs> <laughs> Just jokes. <laughs> Not I the mean, pig heart. Not the paprika. Not the paprika. <laughs> <laughs> My God. Um, um, maybe Dragula. Um, yeah, <laughs> I could see it. Um, I was going to audition for season three of Drag Race, but then you know, like you have that moment, you like hesitate, being like. I'm gonna do it, and then you don't do it for like the whole entire day because you was just like you don't know what you're gonna do. And then my head, my head was like, I'm if I'm gonna be hesitating this much, this year is not my year. That's fair. So this, yeah, yeah. So I'm I like, say like do those things when you know you 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 can do it and win. Yeah, yeah. So I was like, fuck it, I'm gonna wait till season or four. Or like, or get really close at least. Exactly. <laughs> I'll get really close at least. <laughs> that was sour still. Oh my god. <laughs> sweet <laughs> and sour. sour. Sweet, I'm sweet, sweet and sour. sour. <laughs> well, ne- never bitter, but forever in on the joke. Ciao. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but what about Call Me Mother? Would you ever yeah, apply for Call Me Mother? A CMM girl. A CMM diva. Because we are inclusive to all. I'm not going to lie. Yes. To me, the competition, not not like to you, but like the whole comps, the concept of like the show, what happened during your season, it looked messy. <laughs> T. It looked messy, and yep. I, I, like I, I, you know me, I'm not no professional like button up queen. I, I can get messy, but like that's. I don't that's, know what you're talking about. That's messy. I don't know what you're talking about. It was the cleanest edit. Ever. Yeah, no riggery ever. No. Not at all. I actually, pull, I think pull, was, pull out Zavala's conversation about Call Me Mother. <laughs> oh my god, cast. I know. Honestly, I, we're fine. We're in fine waters. It, if you want to go for anyone, go for Zana. No. <laughs> yeah, listen to Let's Cut the Crease podcast. I actually love, yeah. I've been, I, 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 listen to, I listen to Cut the Crease in like waves, and I go on like binges of three episodes. It's pretty great listening it, to Zana complain yeah. about stuff. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Oh god! And that's why we started our own podcast. Yes, yeah, so we, we, we can do it. Like if I, Cooper can do it, Cali can do it too. Yeah. <laughs> mm. <So> do you- <laughs> <laughs> nice, so- a nice moment <laughs> of a still, stillness. Hmm. Um, I, I'm not sure if I'll do C- CMM, but like, if I do, yeah. it'd be like in a in a in a. The ADHD moment being like impulsiveness. Yeah, and also we, we filmed we filmed season one in the middle Mil- of the panini. Yeah. So like that instills chaos. Yeah. So I, I I think season two it'll be pretty gaggy. Pretty noteworthy. Pretty iconic. I think they'll fix some of the things <laughs> just like the minor things that needed to be fixed. Very much like how season one of Dry Grace was too. Like they added Snatch Game for season two. There's gonna be like things. I feel yeah. like I, I feel like with the, the whole progression of drag is happening right now, I feel like in Canada, like with like season three or season four, probably they might even just like do like a talent portion. Of it. And I was just like, I could do that. See, we love a talent portion because then it's actually like you getting to represent your drag mm-hmm. the way that you would show it to a, a bar, bar yeah. versus like here make some hometown outfit, yeah. yeehaw. Yeah. Bullshit. I don't know. I live for the Project Runway riggery, but 
That's Ooh, just me. The riggery. <laughs> Sorry, Juice. Um, <laughs> what was I going to say? Oh, hey, have you been playing Pokemon Legends Arceus? I Arceus. <laughs> you had fucking po- Pokemon right, bitch, damn. <laughs> I, did it, I did it right first. Um, do, you, do you have a Switch? Yes. Do you I, have just, I just literally just, just downloaded it today. Okay. Just well, you're going to lose your freaking mind. Oh. Yeah, I still haven't downloaded it because wah, 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 I'm bad. Okay, so for one, this, okay, Andrew's been pushing us to do fucking Mario Golf yeah. for two fucking months. It's really, no, I'm going to stand with Andrew on this one. It's really fun. Yeah, we play it all the time together. You're the loser on this one. No, you got to get into Mario Golf. It's really good. They added a lot of new courses and new characters. Actually, I haven't played all the new courses yet because... You haven't been over in a while. Yeah, we're literally busy doing. We're literally, we're like, we're we're busy. Were we were we opening? Yeah, yeah. very that, very as that. of because like with the votes coming in, with the votes that happened on Tuesday, you know, on Kenny. Dana's getting political. Oh, I was like, I literally was, I was like, what level like, of Mario are we talking no, about? I was, I was at the Panini, and then you were talking about the Panini. I was like, wait, the votes were opening. Were we opening back up? Yeah, if you live in Alberta, get ready for chaos, everybody. Um, <laughs> this basically, if, if you live in Alberta, just get ready for help. For those who don't know, drag um, shows are coming back. Drag shows are coming back. Clubs are coming back. There'll be no masks. There'll be no vaccine passports. Get, get your vaccines, live your life, and you know what? Just be healthy just and be good. Healthy you can and people. Good. Mm-hmm. Get, get your boosters. Um, other things I feel like people who are listening who maybe aren't a part of our local scene might not know about you, but you're an amazing dancer and performer. Mm-hmm. If we haven't, like, Express that enough yet? You're like <laughs> the dancing diva of Alberta. Um, Period. If, yeah, if not like the West Coast, I feel like you I could probably outdance most divas in and around the area. But um, <laughs> where I go with this is you also have a, a really like pr- like a, a really good like connection and relationship with like the Vogue scene in Calgary, which I think mm-hmm. is cool. There's like so much going on with that. I feel like right now, especially I want to yeah. go back. We should, I'm actually, this is me publicly telling Andrew that we should go do one of the, um, sun, uh, the Sundays. I think mm-hmm. it's like the workshop night yeah. and you can go and oh, you like, can like Vogue learn, YRC. Yeah. And you can so, learn the basics. Yeah. yeah you explain. So every Sunday, one second. Hit it. No, you're good. Burp. No, it's not coming out. Okay. <laughs> 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 Andrew, got, I, I transferred it. I transferred it. Yeah. <laughs> Um, the power of Vogue. The power of Vogue. <laughs> Literate. <laughs> <laughs> Dad. Dad. Done. <laughs> um, but um, every Sunday at 7 to 9, we have a work shop that had happens at DJD on 12th Ave. You know, if people in Cali are wondering where it is, um, it's free or by donation. So, you know, very Donate. welcome. So <laughs> Get your life. Bring your money. Bring your money. <laughs> um, up to like five to twenty dollars. You know, you just download, download, donate. <laughs> um, what you want, and in exchange, we do teach you us like the basics of voguing, like the five elements of voguing. There are different kinds of categories. That if you want to learn from those categories, we will teach you from those categories. That happens from seven to eight, and then from eight to nine, you get like a free session, like a free like open book session you just do a, like do what you want if it's your style just do it and if you want some tips then like people like me or or for where we see who are in those classes will help you teach up teach what you want to know i'm especially good with dip because no one can dip like me mm-hmm. <laughs> that's true i would also like to say that you're amazing with your duck walking oh yeah 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 mm-hmm. the duck walking is next level i would like to see andrew try and just do like walking <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> um, but no, it would be fun. We should we should make an attempt. Not just that. No. <laughs> nope. Watch the pod. <laughs> see, see, see if Canceled. if see if he if he was on a bug ball and he wants to go get his ten to get onto the fucking competition. He be I'd cut, be going for be face. Cut. <laughs> I'd, I'd be okay. going for face, not for spins and dips. Oh my god. Oh going my for god. face. Oh bitch. The read. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Okay, okay, moving on. <laughs> but I, I think I, I, I think we should go do this class because it's fun and it's like I did it once with Allison from Pink Flamingos. Yeah, yeah. Um, and it was cool just to learn like some basics and like get some stuff for when I'm watching other videos online and mm-hmm. learning about other things and like taking time to educate. It just is like nice contact. Mm-hmm. I was like, oh, that's what that means. Or like, that's how I'm supposed to slide into a dip, not to destroy my hamstring. Yeah. <laughs> double, double like Stephanie Prince. 
Yeah, or like <laughs> Valerie Hyde. Or, but, that too, that too. I'm so excited for Legendary Season 3. Just saying. Oh, oh I yeah. Know, I know. I I can't wait. I really can't wait. This, We're just going to need Dana to come back as like our five minute legendary representative. Yeah, we could do legendary. We can do like a legendary uh, dip spot. Yeah. Instead of a tip spot. Instead of a tip spot. <laughs> yeah, a tip spot. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, I hate that. It's kind of fun. Anyway. <laughs> also, we're gonna talk about it in a little bit. We're gonna divulge into it. Have you watched Hot House on Out TV yet? No, but I've seen clips on TikTok. You right? should go on it. <laughs> oh my god, Dana would be amazing on that. <gasps> yeah, I, I vote icon. Dana. You'd be a sex icon. Especially with that third leg. No. Oh my god. Child. Leave it for the drag queens to do before the show. <laughs> they like to... Th- that, the That's, drag queens will never let that go in concrete for you. They won't let... Well, I don't see what I'm on TV for it. So. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Between Dana's third leg and my bang bang. And just me. And then Andrew's... Mustache. Mustache. Ooh. Hello? And... And... Cut. Cut. <laughs> <laughs> that was that was Kiki go trying to find a reason. <laughs> um, I was like, wait, wait, don't. Wait. Cut. 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 <laughs> in the words of in the words of Monique. Cut. cut. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Oh my God. Okay, we didn't have a we didn't have a drag race tidbit with Dana either. What are your thoughts on all of the drag race happening right now? Do you have any particular opinions you want to voice okay, while so, you have this platform? <laughs> so <laughs> get it out, of me. I okay. So I'll tell you this right now. Okay. So for those who don't know, I'm in I'm in like constant like contact with Monique Hart or now no Hart. I told this bitch not to change your fucking name to Mo Hart, cause I cause I I was like it didn't it doesn't it doesn't click. The, what this bitch do? Ghosts me for three weeks oh. <coughs> and then see on her promo Mo Hart. I'm like you fucking bitch. I Facetimed her. With Stephanie, and then I'm like, you fucking bitch, you fucking changing the fucking Mo Heart. What the fuck are you trying to do? And then she's like, yes, child. You know how loud she is. Are you gonna change your name to Doe Heart? No. <laughs> no. Nar. Um, Nar. Nar. Okay, but are you rooting for Mo? I'm rooting for Mo, but I'm just also laughing how that she for three three seasons, two seasons, she was yes, she was like the heart. And then flips over to becoming the villain and was like, I'm sending all of y'all home. Oh, I want to watch her fight somebody this season. season. I want to yeah. see some drama. Yeah. You, know, like, you know she has a fight with mm-hmm. Jimbo, right? She has a fight with Jimbo. This con- this, this con- okay. Yeah. Okay, I'm like, ready. Like in, uh, in the Roscoe's um, viewing party yeah. video with Jimbo, Jimbo's like straight up like, I want to see the fight. fight. Like she was just like so open. She's like, yeah. I want to see the fight. Yeah. Oh my God. Um. Okay. But I, I'm also sad that Lemon left. That Lemon, Lemon got eliminated. Yeah. Like, you know what? We haven't talked about it on the pod yet because we haven't we haven't recorded it since that episode. Mm-hmm. Uh, n- like number one, Lemon stand here. I actually thought Lemon was unrightfully sent home. Yeah. And was a really great performance. I've rewatched it a bunch of times. It's quite catchy. Mm-hmm. It's a catchy tune. Sweet and she sour. Did, she Sweet did a great sour. job. Yeah. Controversial opinion. I think Cheryl should have been in the bottom instead of Lemon. But. Yeah. 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 Yeah, agreeable. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's agreeable. That's yeah. I, I agree with that. I agree with that too. But I want to know: Did Jimbo send Lemon home? Did Jimbo oh, have? No. Okay. So okay. No. So we haven't watched here's, it. No. Here's T because I saw this on TikTok, and then I and then I asked Lemon about this too. So Lemon and Jimbo had a show in the states, and um, they, people were talking about. It, so someone asked uh, for a Q and A, being like, "Oh, what? What was the reason why you didn't keep Lemon?" And then Jim was like, oh, no, I was going to keep Lemon, but the producers told me we yeah. needed more drama. Yeah, so they, then, like, cut their conversation in ha- exactly. half. They were like, oh, yeah, I'm going to keep you. You're the one. And then they had to be like, no, no, make you know, it vague. Make it vague. And then, and then Jim was like, I don't know if I'm going to keep you or not. I'm not sure. Oh, yeah, <laughs> of course. Of course. Like, it's literally the same thing as, like, do you think that they would have given Orion story the golden chocolate bar? The- no. No. No, or, no, no. Or it'll never happen. Yeah. So, um, no, I see that. I see, they, they, they can't just, it can't be such a clean save. Because it's going to be the same thing when, like, um, a UK girl mm-hmm. is in the bottom and a UK girl is in the top. top. And, yeah. like, if, if Mo and Juju have that same thing. Yeah, very Okay. Bad. Who do you think is going to win season 14? Well, I thought it was going to be fucking cornbread until she fucking hurt her ankle. <laughs> now that cornbread's out of the running. Who do you um, think? I'm going to say it's between 
Kerry, Mark, or George's. Work. Oh, interesting. Mm-hmm. Work. We love different opinions on the pod. Mm-hmm. What do you guys think? Um, I'm I'm very much here for Willow Pill. Yeah, Willow Pill. I'm like at this point for me, it's between Willow and Angeria. Yeah, because yeah. uh, yeah. Angeria's had two wins and two high oh, placements. Just, yeah, and Willow has had basically a win and a few and, saves and two well two high one save right yeah, yeah. but I think three high in my opinion. Um. I don't know. I think it might be. It might be. Like, be I cool. can. I can see Willow Peel like getting winning. to the finals or winning, but like, I don't know. The top of the, the competition is a little tough this season. I'm not going to lie. Carrie could be up there. I Carrie, can see Carrie. I can see Carrie being up there, but like so far, her so far, I feel like she should pull more out of her ass. If that makes sense. Mm-hmm. Like yep. I, I feel like from the first two episodes her looks were kind of like oh okay we've seen something like this from Kylie let's see something different you know okay but can we talk about that horrible flower runway oh, that she oh, the made? judges told her to get ugly and, yeah and she she did that she did that she did she that. that she did it she but did you know what that I have I wonder if she brought that outfit or if like she what she was told to be scary Carrie and so she was like okay no. I'll like wrap a piece of sequin green around my I, waist I think Green was, sequin. I feel like that scary outfit was probably her backup. She probably has something different because you know how in Drag Race you're supposed to have one like official, but uh-huh. like a backup just in case that uh-huh. doesn't happen. Like it's, I feel like it was like a um, Manila Muzan kind of situation. In period dress. Star- yeah, the period dress. Yeah. I feel like it was that kind of situation. So when she has she probably something something else in mind, but then when the judges said get scary. She did that. Um, I don't remember who said it. I think it was Bussy Queen. They said that it was like plants versus zombies. And oh my God, yeah. it is very that. Yeah. Oh, I feel like it, it's like a look I've also seen. I think Aquaria has done it, but like where like someone looks like a bouquet of flowers. Yes. Yeah. But like it was like half way done. Yeah. yeah. Like all the divas on Drag Race Holland did yeah. the bouquet flowers yeah. way better. Yes. Yeah. No, yeah. That look was giving me a sinus infection. I did not like it. <laughs> I was just waiting for it. <laughs> Achoo! Hey. I was- I was, waiting for someone, I was waiting for someone to do, like, the fucking fringe dress that, like, Brooklyn had from her season. That fucking <gasps> oh, the, the, sun, like, the sunflower the dress. Sunflower yeah, dress. that was fun. The Daisy fringe. The Daisy fringe. fringe. Yeah. I was waiting for someone to like, do something like that and be like, oh, I, I was waiting to read someone and be like, oh, my God, it's Brooklyn Heights. I wanted Charity Case's Easter Bunny on the runway. <gasps> yes. yes. Like killer, killer Easter bunny, albino rabbit with like red eyes. Yes. Out to feast on the children, looking for eggs. Like I would have gone down. Very that. Yeah. Route. Very Loris. Very, yeah. Dracula. Dracula. Yeah. 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 Oh, I, I like that. Oh no! What you should do is just get get one of those like bunny like rabbit like stuffies. Yeah. Cut off the head. Cut in half. Mm. Make the make oh, the half. Oh, Tina Burner. Do a Tina Burner. <laughs> Five Nights at Freddy's. Five Nights at Freddy's. All right. <laughs> okay, well, um, Dina, I want to let you have a minute to let everyone know where they can find you, um, yes. but also where they can tip you, because not everyone lives in Alberta, and not everyone is able to come to a Dana Hart show. Mm-hmm. They can watch you on YouTube for free, and they can listen to you on this podcast for free, but they can also tip you uh, via your email. Yep, through my email. Hit it. Um, if you go on Instagram, my... My account is a business account, so you just press view contacts, and then you just press my email. That email is my e-transfer. That's that's the word. (laughs) Um, So if you guys want to tip me, then by all means, or if you want to make a donation to any World War C or any donations at all, because I like to donate a lot, so I donate around like around like POC um, communities or. Even like places who are like places like don't like don't have that kind of like space for like, donations. Like for example, yeah. Forest Lawn, there are a lot of POC, POC like people there, so I like to help out there. So sometimes go yeah. down the community, give back, you know. Yeah, we should go to if anyone out there wants to go with me and Andrew to a vote class. Let's go do it. We'll yes. give some money. The community's really sick to support. There's a lot of amazing people that I think come out of that community. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. I'll be there too. I'll be there almost every Sunday as I do have my own shows to worry about too. But I'll be there most Sunday nights. Um, Where can we find you? you can, if you're in Calgary. If, when, I'm in, when I'm in Calgary, I'm basically all over. But like, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, she's everywhere. I'm everywhere now. But um if you are in Calgary, you can find me at Twisted Element, mainly also mainly in the kitchen, because I am the head cook there in the kitchen at Twisted Element, as we do serve food. 
Um, but I'm also one of the house performers, so you can see me either, like every almost every Friday or and or Saturday. Um, and I'll be also cooking your bunches with Angelina, so you'll see that craziness happening. Um, there's so many shows. There's so many we, we shows. We literally just did a show together like, two nights ago. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And um, there'll also be a brunch show at, called College Bar Brunch happening yep. at College Bar on the 26th of February. Yep. Where you can see, see me, Near Enough. Um, all the basically the Nuff family, the local baddies, local, local baddies, a few, all, like a few. Like, it's Calgary is so diverse, and you'll see that diversity in that in like all of our shows. But like, I don't think people understand how diverse we are until you see the actual show. T. Like people think that we're like, oh, we're drag race, high energy performing dance. Like no, bitch, no, no. We yeah. can be creepy. We can yeah. be camp. I've seen Dana be- do a ballad. Oh, I've seen Dana do a full clown creepy number. Oh, oh, I'm bringing it back this year. No, no. I'm bringing it back this year. Oh my god, actually, you know what? Yeah, 2022 is the year of Bang Bang and the laugh track coming back. <laughs> <laughs> Classic, drag. Classic drag. Classic drag. Classic drag. <laughs> okay, well, I love that. Is there yes. anything else? Um, you're on, are you on Twitter? I'm on Twitter. My Twitter is DanaHart13. Hot. I'm on Instagram, which is DJ and Dana underscore. Hot. I'm on Facebook as Desmond Douglas, if you guys want to see my not see beautiful Dana you want to see Desmond. you look by the way so good today Thank I don't you. know if you said it at the beginning of this part I but designed I like this. this sweater oh word really? yeah what yeah. I love that so during like the, the initial lockdown I got bored so I just started drawing shit and then I was like but I have friends who know how to make shirts I wanted I would just have there's like a time I wanted to make make like um merch queen merch yeah so I was like try this out and then they like we like, we like it and now um, they're just selling it in the states right now. In LA, they have it in purple, pink, white, and red. Okay. Do you get a check from that? I get a check from that. Okay. That's fierce. <laughs> Dana, literally, you're so fierce. I love learning new things about you, like, right here, right now. Also, don't forget to follow Dana's Twitch. Oh, yes. I'm yeah! Just, I'm just starting a Twitch. It's also DanaHeart13. I'm just starting into it. I went off for a bit just because of work and stuff, but yeah. I will be coming back. In the very, very near future. <laughs> play some Legends Arceus. Legends Arceus, Fortnite. I mainly play Fortnite or um, COD, but you will see me also playing um, all Switch games, Among Us. Dana's really, really good at Smash Brothers. Oh. <laughs> Dana loves to smash. I love to smash. Um, <laughs> so yeah, follow, subscribe, all that <laughs> stuff to Dana Hart's Twitch. <laughs> yeah, and thank you again for being here with us. Thanks You're an Dana icon. And now, for a little break. A little pause. No pause. We'll be right back. What's our outro? Should we have an outro? Oh my god. Yeah, that's on brand. (laughs) (laughs) And we're back. Welcome back from the break. Um... We also, Poltergeist just happened and the room changed, so. Ooh. Ooh. If you're watching this on YouTube, spooky things just happened. Scary things. Yes, <laughs> scary things. Scary things just happened. Uh, yeah, Baloney Ghost was in the room and uh, took away the red chair. Took uh, away our Dana heart. Took away our Dana. Um, but you know what? We're living, laughing, loving. And we're here to wrap up the podcast with some hot discussion. On Hot House. Oh my god, and a couple other things. Yeah, I just I'm wanted to say I'm also going to try not to yell into the mic today. Hot. Oh my god. Right. Okay. Um, so we discussed this last week a bit with Kiki, um, that we are now obsessed with Hot House, yeah. OutTV's newest TV show. Um, and most chaotic. Yeah. More than Call not, Me Mother. Not most viewed. Uh, <laughs> 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 we hold that title for original OTV series. <laughs> okay, but but the show Hot House is really good. They're on episode three. Yes. Uh, four comes out this Thursday. Okay, it comes out on Thursdays. Didn't know that. Thank yeah. you so much. Because I was like, there's I watched, just two episodes. Like leaning so much. I watched it on Thursday, and it is really chaotic. <laughs> Yeah. So, premise of the show is it's to be, like, the sexiest. We've kind of talked about the premise of it. Yeah, really. Yeah. But queer it's, like, to be, icon. like, a queer sex icon. Um, it's a very diverse cast. They live in a house together. No one gets eliminated is the twist on episode one. Um, mm-hmm. All the eliminated people become judges. 
and then this week um, there's supposed to be three eliminations. And then yeah, this Thursday there's three because this most recent episode, which was we're gonna talk about the drama, um, no one was eliminated, and no one really. It doesn't make sense because no one gets eliminated anyway. Yeah, it, I, that doesn't make sense. There was no okay. The stakes. Okay, so like let's talk this episode. The episode starts. We're down two people. We've lost Cash and Seven. Yes. And anyone else? No. Okay. So those are our two eliminated divs, but now they're on the judging panel. Wee wee. Oh, right. This week they had a, they get woken up really early by Tiffany. I remember that. New York wakes them up early. Everyone was unhappy. And then they had a mini challenge where they had to rap. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I were, I'm like I'm like re-reminding myself. We wrote down so many notes, but I didn't write what happened at the beginning of this episode. But they all rapped. Um, Saint Anique was like the worst, I think. Right? Like or, no, no. Was rhythm. it the pillow fight? Oh, it was the pillow fight? Who was the pillow fight? Never mind. They rapped in another episode, but yeah. Anyways, I would have loved to have been pillow fighting with Matthew Camp. I would have. Ah, I would. Oh my god, I want to pillow fight with Cupcake. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it was really cute. They pillow fight. They take photos. Who won? Um, it was uh, Fantasia. Um, she Fantasia. She was with uh, Nikki Monet for their photo shoot. Yes. Yeah. And we also messed up a lot of names on the last time we recorded this about Hot House, but Fantasia won. Uh, and Fantasia has the most beautiful breasts mm-hmm. and face and like body. Like, yeah. at, at everything. Gorge. I think Fantasia's the winner. Gonna win. <laughs> yeah. I, um, I hope she wins. I'm gonna, I hope she wins too. But. This episode, they have for their main challenge. What do they have to do? They have to go and be uh, Cam Four operators. Okay, have you heard of Cam Four before? Because I hadn't. And me neither. I just Work. was like Omegle sex show kind of a vibe. It sounds like an Omegle meets like OnlyFans or just for fans. Yeah, 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 something yeah, yeah. like that. And so they had to like come up with like spe- uh, special and unique kitschy things so that way when they go live on Cam Four's account, all right, they can get people's attraction in to the show it was a really cool challenge because it felt like something real this show is also very pro sex work um Mm -hmm. it's a very very positive show for like queer bipoc folks um there is a lot of conversation i feel like in this episode about all of that i feel like though yeah um specifically but but this challenge was cool because it felt like something that was like unique to what these folks would actually be doing in like a potential real life situation like a potential real life career like it's the way people make money and they had a really great specialist come in i can't for the life of me remember their name but he worked for camp four works for camp four is like apparently i mean i I saw uh, gorge yeah i would (laughs) i would watch his camp four yes uh and i think the thing with this was they were tasked to like make this sexy and real but also like make it funny and entertaining because again kitschy like, it has to be neat. It's a reality show, so they also want it to be entertaining for us who are watching it. Mm-hmm. Um, should we run down what the Deves did? Yeah, Scritch, Pup. Just Scritch. straight up, let's just bring out the dick and start jerking off on camera. Yeah, and had a wheel. Oh, yeah, I liked Scritch. Scritch had the wheel. So I thought I the liked. wheel, in theory, when Scritch, Scritch was talking to, like, the judges and, like, the prep work or, like, was in confessionals, the wheel sounded like the best idea to me. Yeah, but I feel like you need to have the games fully flushed out so that way you're not having that awkward, like, I saw okay. no games. I, there were no games. Yeah. Do you remember any games? No. There was a candle. Yes. And Scritch, like, light their hair on fire. Scritch lit their hair on fire. Yeah, that's the only thing I remember. Uh, and... Yeah, and I, I think in the words of Cupcake, it was just too fucking much. I, um, I'm, I'm okay with a, a good chunk of what he was doing. I think Cupcake's being too much by saying he's too much, but that's that's I, me. I think that I get, like, I feel like the energy in the room would be weird with that. You know what I mean? I don't know. I'm with Cupcake on this one for a bit. But I think that there's I think there's something endearing about Scritch. And uh, brings it to the runways, the quote-unquote oh, runways. The runway. Week. They always have a great outfit. Scritch has a great outfit. Yes. Love their love their outfits. Um, um, Saint does a little... Wee-wah, 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 wee-wah. Saint does ASMR, which I thought was... Cl- <laughs> Sorry. Andrew's... Uh, for those of you just listening, Andrew's not using his lips to make that sound. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, Saint does really good ASMR. I love what was happening. It was it was funny. It was cute. It was definitely like it wasn't the nicest of ASMRs. I will be nor blunt. I don't think I think Saint was like Saint also didn't seem like they were prepped for it. I no. think none of them knew what was happening. She but, saw the microphone and was like, "Oh, 
I can do the ASMR thing with I this. Can do that. Yeah, and I was like, it was not perfect, but the idea was there, and so I feel like they recognized that, and that was like a high safe for me. Mm-hmm. Um, we had, oh, what? Juju Minx yep. does like Dom. Like right. Dom with the dildo on the leg, the yeah. strap on. Oh, the strap on. The class. strap on. The strap, strap on, on class. class. It was like Dom and being like very like fuck me Dom. with your pronouns. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. They were like t like let's let's go pronoun heavy so that way you know we're both comfortable in this. It was like it was like encounter. sexy and comfortable. They definitely deserve the win. Uh, it was a great uh, a great little bit, and I like their look. I always like the looks that they wear. I like the round glasses. I love the horns. Mm-hmm. I love that they have a signature sort of like style to yeah. them. I don't love it, but I love that they have style. I don't love their style, but That's I fair. love that they have style. It is it's it's an opinion, baby. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't really remember anyone else's uh, sex show though. To be uh, honest. Oh uh, well, let's talk about Sapphire. Uh, Sapphire, the one who was supposed to go home. Who probably would have gone home this episode, unfortunately. Who I would also have been rooting for since the beginning. I was rooting for you. Um, okay, Kamara Hall. <laughs> had a really awful family emergency happen in this episode, um, which caused a lot of confliction. Conflama. Because Sapphire loses an aunt or has like a family member have an emergency. Yeah. Uh, underperforms in their sex cam show as like a as like a fortune telling sex Which icon they could have done like could they have been could pretty have, cool this could, could have been, been cool. like so good but yeah they and they have that, it yeah they have sort of that like wicca kind of vibe to them uh and then they confess to tiffany that they have this like super bad family emergency tiffany tells no one i guess production i guess production tells no one else mm-hmm. and i guess that Sapphire got away with telling no one else, assuming the contestants didn't hear, because no one spoke up about it. Because wouldn't true. you have spoken up about it if you were a contestant too, being like, "Oh, I know why Tiffany's being like this." Yeah, why she's being so extra and dramatic. So oh. I found that interesting. Um, but yeah, when it comes down to it, we get to the deliberation, and Tiffany literally has like a meltdown. Well, first off, we get to the winner. Juju. Oh yeah, yeah. Juju. We get to the winner, Juju Minx. Who, Juju Minx wins the challenge. Who, who accepts that they won, but then pops off like, "Why didn't I win last last week?" Yeah, it went. It was like, and it was like a pretty. It was like a really interesting response because it happened right away. And um, I, I mean, yeah, there was, there was. I can't speak to the experience that these contestants were having in that in the house or with the production <laughs> or with any of that. Um, but I, I think that Saint deservedly won the week before, and I think Juju deservedly won this week. Yeah, I think that Saint's um, last week performance for the gay porn was so acting good. It was, was so funny, yeah, hilarious, and Juju did great too. They made the actors break character, which is yeah. like that's how you know you won a comedy challenge. Yeah, you, you made RuPaul laugh essentially. Yeah, and this the moment kind of sucked for me because I feel like Juju's trajectory in the show was like kind of low at the beginning, and then they had a great last episode, and they had an amazing this episode. Um, I just wish that like that energy was able to carry through. But I don't know what happened. Um, yeah, I feel as if there might have been some production stuff. Behind. I feel like there was something happening more than just what we were being uh, um, shown. But it was really good because then we did get to have like a very open and candid conversation between Juju Minx and the entire cast. Yep. And also Matthew Camp being like, thank you for educating. We should be listening to trans BIPOC people. So that way uh, we can understand and better um Better like serve these people, especially on platforms like this, like that that they're uh, being given these like great platforms. But then like, yeah, I can imagine there must have been something more than what was shown. And you know what was cool is they did show Juju being pretty like real, even in their confessionals yes. and production, being like, okay, we're gonna like cut this because it's clearly like, I think it, it, that kind of stuff can affect people past that experience. Mm-hmm. So that they wanted to keep the vibes. Positive and yeah. good. Don't and on the edit. Yeah, and I'm really, really glad that they didn't um, let anyone go home and that they also weren't. Like, I'm I'm really happy. I was worried that someone was going to pop off at Juju and retaliate. Yes, but they just... Everyone was great yeah. and just, like, listened. And I I, I, did, I did, like, um, Fantasia's... Fantasia's confessional. Yeah, I was just about to say, Fantasia's <laughs> confessional. Yeah. Like, the producer was like, so do you think that she deserved the win? And she was like, no. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I... I think Fantasia should win. I think but, like um, it's really nice to hear another trans BIPOC person 
understanding what Juju Minx was saying. Yeah. But then also being like, no, you didn't win. But also like competing win. in the same competition and, you know, knowing what they were asked to do. Yeah. And yeah. I was like, no, you, you, didn't, you didn't win that, but like, good for you. Yeah. And yeah, you won yeah. this one, so pop off. It was Literally. A, it was a, it was a, uh, a great challenge. Juju killed it. Everyone killed it. Um, I think that the bottom between Sapphire and Scritch, Sapphire did the worst. Agreed. Would have gone home. Tiffany blows up, has like a really, um, well, okay, we didn't also talk about this, but you didn't watch Slag Wars season no. one. Or, uh, and Sophie, I believe, from the Cock Destroyers walks out on an episode not wanting to eliminate anybody, which is why I assumed they created the format this season where no one is really eliminated. And then Tiffany has basically the same breakdown this season, but, like, no one is eliminated because yeah, they and, stay living there. And you're a judge now. And the point of the show is, like, wait, the queer, we, queer communities don't, like, kick people out, so... Even I, though you had a bad day and a bad situation happened to you, yeah. we're still not kicking you out. We're just and embracing so, you in a new light. So them being like, we're raising the stakes for this next episode to three people getting eliminated is really cool and I'm really excited, but I was bummed that they didn't just send someone to the judges yeah. panel. I would rather one last episode, one this episode, versus just three. Yeah, because I'm like, oh, they're going to like... I, I, it's going to be unfair. Yeah, it's not going. It's not going to be easy, and it's going to be more unfair to the folks in the next episode than it is to, to the people who like just sadly underperformed this episode. But I did tweet that uh, Hot House episode three was extremely messy, and like half the cast like liked and showed it. I know. We're, can we just give a shout out to this cast? We love you all so much. Yeah. This is a great show. Y'all are fucking killing it. Um, Fantasia, Scritch, and uh, Saint. My personal top three. Love you all. I'm still. I will keep rooting for Juju to to, to make it to the top three. Fantasia and uh, Saint. Yeah. I was Team Sapphire, but R.I.P. <laughs> R.I.P. You should have gone home. Yeah, just that episode, but you know, great vibes. You've been doing great so far, and um, tell me your skin regimen. <laughs> okay, so enough about Hot House. Let's go on to some other TV shows that have quite a bit of drama going on right now. Drag Race. Yes. Season right. 14. Yes. Cornbread Goes Home. Unfortunately. Spoiler alert. <laughs> Whoops. Um, this is the saddest news I've ever heard in my life. I felt so bad for Willow. It was more than anybody. W Willow and Carrie. Yeah. Yeah. Those were like, and like Willow and Cornbread seem to have like a really like kindred, like, mm -hmm. like really tight relationship. And, uh, and Carrie seemed to be someone who cared a lot for Cornbread and the way Cornbread cared for Willow. So I feel like there was just like, it's just really sad. It, the show lost a huge spark. Like, yeah. come on. But at the same time, like, I think. Oh. Ja like Jasmine Kennedy said it herself. She needed cornbread to go home to really like sink in and understand. I think Diabetti said the same thing. The, the divas were like, they recognized right away. They were like, okay, we just lost the heart of this season, but now I might have a chance to win. It was like yeah. Ben de la Creme going home. Yes. Literally that. Yeah. But unfortunate. And I, <laughs> did you notice that they did not get a invitation back for season 15? I think they're just going to put cornbread on all stars. That's fair. I just noticed that, like, with uh, UK season three and Victoria Scon and her knee, they never announced her coming back for season four either. I think, didn't they? No. Oh. Well. So both Victoria Scon and now um, uh, Cornbread are well, not getting invitations back. May so maybe it's happened so many times that production was just like, we gotta keep things moving and fresh. Yeah, but, like, also bring both of them back. Just put them on all stars. Put them you know on. Put them on the knee season. Yeah, I was just about to say. Everybody wants a first out season. Let's get an injured season. Yeah, like, I'm down for that. Yeah, I would, yeah, yeah. I would love an injured season. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Put Max on there because they hurt their ribs that one time, their corset or something. Uh, yeah. Uh, um, uh, I don't know who else is injured on Drag Race. Um, me. Uh, Charlie. Charlie Hydes. Yeah. Oh my God. Let's do an injured Cause, season. Because he did break his ribs or his, his vocal fry or, or. No energy. Farted, I don't know. Yeah, there was Something th happened. Yeah, five different, <laughs> five different things. Uh, and that, and still, uh, as our as our recaps for season fourteen continue on the pod. I am still Team Willow and Angeria for win. Okay, someone just tried to walk in, but that's fine. You know what? Every time it happens, if you're listening and you have a drink in your hand, finish it. <laughs> <laughs> if it's a hot coffee, chug it. If you're smoking a blunt, toke it. Toke it. Um, anytime someone walks in on us recording the pod, you gotta do something bad. Um, and that's just the way it is. But season 14, Willow and Angeria for the win. And I just don't see it going anywhere else. 
Uh, I mean, in a positive way. Like, I think the show is going to be great. I'm excited for the rest of the season. I want to see yes. Jasmine and uh, George's lip sync. I want to see so much stuff. Ooh, yeah. But I, I'm more excited for UK versus the world right now. Uh, T, same, agreed. It's unfortunate that we film these on Mondays and they come out on Tuesdays. I know, but you know what? It It's funny because then if to the people who are listening on Fridays, you can laugh at how much, how dummy we are sometimes, depending on what we say. <laughs> Very. <laughs> Um, we also found out that Drag Race España is coming out with a season two. And I haven't ever watched season one. You watched season one. I loved it. And yeah, I, I feel like for you, this is like... Oh, for me, I'm living for this. Um, and from what I've heard from a lot of people, like Lilith Fair included, um, Drag Race España is probably like... They would put like um, yeah, a regular, it, I think. yeah, regular season UK and Canada all up here. But for a non-English speaking, it is top. Yeah. And the fact that they just call each other cigarettes... All the time. Yeah, I, I know the, the divas the divas were living for that. Um, and I, I live for it, too. <laughs> <laughs> I think that I will... I need to watch season one before I watch season two, but I'm down for both. I really like the judges, the judging panel that they have for um, for Drag Race Hispania. Uh-oh. And they even brought um, Envy Peru for the finale uh, as, yep. a, as a guest judge, which was super fun. Bring back Carmen. Uh, Car- oh, Carmen Ferrala. Yeah, that would yeah. be fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm excited for this season, and then we got what else we got going on? Celebrity Big Brother. Yeah, you're watching it. I'm I'm on Twitter looking at recaps. Um, Here's a room everybody for, hates Todrick. Let's yeah. let's just get that out there right it's now. Bad. No, Todrick's the one who's like oh, uh, they had like a, a girls and gays alliance, and okay. it was like dom- cute. I like that. Yeah, it was a dominance in numbers, but then Todrick was like, oh, let's go for the straight girl who's HOH right now, and let's, like, be her best friend. And oh. then just, like, fully, like, said, fuck the girls and the gays. And no, Todrick! Yeah. So that's why everybody's pissed off at Todrick. Todrick, and, you're on Big Brother. You gotta stick to your alliances, baby. And now Todrick is targeting Carson. I know. I did see that. I saw that all over Twitter. People were like, Todrick targeting Carson while Carson's having, like, a bath. I mean, I... I from a Big Brother perspective, someone who watches it a lot, yeah. it's genius because everyone's going to expect the two gays to become best friends. So if you're going to ditch somebody and you're going to leave somebody in the dirt, I'm sorry, but Squid Game this shit. Like, get rid of him. Um, so, you know, a little unfortunate, but uh, also just hate the what person that taught you. for the with. Olympian. The, the, the figure skater? Yeah. Uh, she's the target this week. So. She's like, she looks like she could win. Yeah, but she's so cute. Mariah Nig- Nigarisu or something yeah, like that? Yeah, she seems so cute. She seems great. I'm rooting for her, Carson, and like... I was rooting for Ta- Teddy, but RIP, she went home this week. I, I, I don't even watch Real Meh. Housewives, but I'm like, you're a Real Housewife. You're going to be my favorite. Bring Brandy Glanville back. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that's, I think, all of our reality TV and like good TV drama right now. There's nothing else really... Hot and happening Nar. seasonally, but we got UK versus the world episode two coming out tomorrow. Um, mm-hmm. We probably have Canada's Drag Race and other things being filmed right now, but we're unaware of. Yeah, I'm sure things are probably in the works and happening. Who knows? Mm-hmm. Who knows? Not us. Um, yeah, that that's really it, divas. You heard it here, folks. Um, so you heard it here, folks. You, you heard it here, folks. Um, and I, I, should we, should we end it? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to leave it on this note. I tweeted about bang, bang, um, the other day after we did bang, bang and no one got videos of us doing bang, bang, but I made them do bang, bang on Friday work or Saturday night at Twisted. I made everyone do bang, bang. Um, I, every city I go to, we do bang, bang. And I would just like to remind everyone listening to the pod to get your daily listen of bang, bang in while you can <laughs> bang, bang. This, uh, pod has been sponsored by bang, bang. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much for watching or listening or, to. Thank you very much. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Let's try it again. Thank you so much for listening to the hunt, hunt is on. on. Um, this was a great episode. We got more special guests coming this month. Don't forget. This is uh, black history month. There's lots to learn. Make beyond, sure that you support beyond some an Instagram posts, support your local businesses. Exactly. Yeah. Support your local black divas. Uh, tip Dana Hart. Tip our diva Dana, who was on the episode today. Um, and come out and watch some shows and support and, you know, do all the good stuff. Yeah. And if, be good people. If you're a drag performer who is, uh, 
wanting to be on our podcast, uh, just let us know. We've been working out some things for the future plans. And uh, kings. Yeah, or artists, kings. Yeah, yeah let's, let's anything. Get some kings. Yeah, yeah, some, yeah. We need some kings. We need some for things next too. Ooh. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. And like, whatever. Like, we do burlesque. If you are just cool and you want to talk to us about something cool, we can find fifteen minutes. We can find some time. Yeah, easy, easy Ooh. money. Okay, bye. Love you. Stay safe. Take care of yourself. Drink your water. Take your meds. Smile. Wow, that's the longest outro ever. Okay, bye. <laughs>